properties of concrete and steel let us study about the behavior of concrete when subjected to different conditions of loading first let us understand how the concrete behaves when it is subjected to uniaxial compression for which let us first define compressive strength of concrete by compressive strength of concrete we find the strength of concrete when subjected to uniaxial compression for this we take standard cube specimens of concrete of size 150 mm is what is shown here it is casted and subjected to continuous curing you take out the samples only after 28 days after casting now you keep the specimen between the platens of a compression testing machine and subject it to load in the vertical direction since the loading is performed only along one axis of the specimen it is known as uniaxial compression when you increase the load gradually you will find at some point of load the specimen fails the specimen fractures and this failure load is noted and this is divided by the cross sectional area of the specimen to obtain what is known as compressive strength of the concrete specimen and this is generally expressed in newton per millimeter square or mega pascal concrete as we already discussed has a great variability in its compressive strength by variability of compressive strength i mean cube specimens prepared from the same mix are taken and you perform the compression test and you find that each specimen shall give different values of compressive strength this is primarily due to the non homogeneous nature of concrete as we already studied that the concrete is a heterogeneous mixture of different materials of different properties you mix them together and construct what is known as concrete and this shall give different values even if it is taken from the same mix so if you make for example if you make 1000 cube specimens from the same concrete mix and you perform the compression test you will get a result like what is shown in this figure this is a graph between the frequency and the concrete strength what is meant by frequency the number of samples that correspond to a particular value of compressive strength for example you test 1000 specimens of which you get about 50 specimens about 50 specimens having the compressive strength of 14 mega pascal and you may get around 130 specimens 130 number of specimens giving a compressive strength of 18 mega pascals and you may get around 70 specimens which give a compressive strength of 22 mega pascals so this is a graph which shows the continuous distribution of the number of samples versus the strength of the samples from this graph itself it is evident that the same mix is giving a range of strengths of concrete and you it is very difficult for you to fix one particular value you cannot say your concrete mix shall give 30 mega pascal or 25 mega pascal no the same mix is giving a range of compressive strengths this shape resembles a bell shaped curve this bell shaped distribution is known as 
normal distribution curve or otherwise known as Gaussian curve. In order to finalize the strength value for a definite concrete mix, the Indian Standard Code IS-456 has defined what is known as the characteristic strength of material. By characteristic strength, we mean the strength of material below which not more than 5% of the test results are expected to fall. This can be explained with the help of this figure. The same bell-shaped curve, the normal distribution curve is shown here. You are fixing a particular value of strength as the characteristic strength and saying that at least 95% of your specimens will give a compressive strength greater than characteristic strength. So you, we are defining a strength parameter known as characteristic compressive strength of concrete such that you can say with at least 95% confidence that mix shall offer you at least this particular strength FCK or characteristic compressive strength and from this characteristic compressive strength it is possible to define what is the mean strength FCM mean strength by which I mean the strength which the most number of samples give it is defined by IS-456 that FCK and FCM differ by what is known as 1.65 sigma where sigma is the standard deviation where sigma actually depends upon the quality control of concrete. By this we can draw the relationship FCM is equal to FCK plus 1.65 sigma. Grade of concrete. We already discussed about the characteristic strength of concrete and this is now used to define the quality or grade of concrete. So by grade of concrete I mean it is the quality of a particular mix. This is expressed in terms of the 28 day characteristic compressive strength of concrete cubes represented in the unit mega pascal. And whenever you represent the grade of concrete, you have to prefix the compressive strength by the letter M. Hence, if the 28-day characteristic strength of concrete cube is 20 megapascal, then you say the grade of concrete is M20. Now, the Indian Standard Code IS-456 has recommended minimum grades of concrete being used for construction and this is generally expressed in terms of the durability of the structure how much durable you want the structure to be you express in such terms the durability is generally expressed in terms of the environment to which the structure is exposed to and they are given in this table Exposure conditions are listed as mild exposure condition, moderate condition, severe, very severe and extreme. And the minimum grade of concrete required for RCC constructions corresponding to each of these exposure conditions are also listed alongside this. And you can find this in table 5 of IS-456 in page number 20. You can classify the grades of concrete such as ordinary concrete by which we mean the grades of concrete from M10 to M20 standard concrete which represents the concretes of grade M25 to M55 and high strength concrete whose grade is from M60 and above now let us study about the stress strain behavior of concrete when subjected to uniaxial compression tests. The results of the several uniaxial compression tests of different grades of concrete are expressed in this figure shown. You will find that as you subject a concrete specimen to a compressive load, the stress in the material increases 
in a linearly elastic fashion now after a particular value of load it loses its linearity it becomes to behave non linearly and it increases further and reaches a maximum value beyond this you will find that the stress in the material declines you will also observe that the higher grades of concrete will have more steeper initial portion of the curve another thing which you would observe is that the lower grades of concrete fail at larger strains compared to higher grades of concrete